so we are on the road on designing this structure here it is a hidden roof design with a concrete gutter here concrete gutter and another concrete gutter here so far this is where we have reached if you're following this tutorial from part one to part two now this is part three so what i want to do today in part three is i want to draw the floor slab and then once you have the floor slab you're going to have the rooftop here which will also be reinforced concrete and then we're going to design a design here and also some more design here and adjust the sizes of our windows so that they this window toilet window so that they are up to standard so let me just begin with this windows for the kitchen for the toilet Control T so you select all of them to select two items at a time you press shift then I press Control T and since it is a toilet you can see width we have 550 and let's have length of 750 sometimes I feel like you can just have a long window smaller but long in the bathroom then uh, because you will place uh, those type of glasses which sometimes are certain not tinted or you will have also curtains when one is about to take a shower it looks much better than when you have this kind of small windows that we are used to so we are supposed to make to 2200 so you have to do 750 is it 14 i think it is 1450 will give us 2200 2200 is the height of uh, i mean you want to have a common height for your where your windows ends because it is where you will have uh, the ring beam so you want all the windows to end at a specified or at a specific height from the ground now that we're done with that we can go to ground floor and let's draw a slab so you click on you double click on on the slab tool and you can do adjustment on what you want but as it is for now i'm just switching it to this first option and i click ok then i come to draw it so there are many ways you can draw it as a rectangle like this way it's up to you to choose the method that you want geometry rectangular or you want geometry polygonal or you want geometry rotated rectangular so i'm going with geometry polygonal so that i can draw it from corner to corner this way yeah then yeah Yeah, yeah. So to zoom in and to zoom out, you use the middle mouse button for your mouse. It will zoom in and zoom out easily. Then I close it. So now I have my slab this way, this way, that way. Yeah. Here we are. And so where I was drawing, there was some place. I mean we are going to have stairs i mean from where we are building this structure you're going to have stairs so you need to have a thicker slab floor slab so at this moment we're going to do some ad adjustment to it to make it to be 750 how do you of course you're not going to build something that will be 750 in terms of thickness so i'm going right now i'm going to create a new texture i go to options elements surfaces and we create a new texture for paint glossy white we had already c01 so we are going to create c02 and we sh can even create c let me create two two more 
I create, I usually create a lot of textures for those who follow my tutorials. Or you don't have to create them by the it's optional. This is just a me thing. But if you want, you can do it too. Then I press Ctrl T and I want this to be C0 paint. That was uh, C01. And for this, I'm going with uh, C03. You, 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 you. Then um, let's draw the rooftop here. So to draw the rooftop, there are two main ways. You can either go and draw it on story one, or you can just draw it on ground floor and you change the elevation. So if you draw from story one, it will be more like just how you drew the floor slab for the other, for the first, for the ground floor story. This, the floor slab that we just drew, drew it will be more like that. Then if you draw on the ground floor, it, it will be a little more fun because you, know, you will now have to learn to learn something else to do with at, at adjusting the elevation of your floor slab. So for me, I prefer, for now let me do this from ground floor so that you can learn how you can be able to, at, to do at, at adjustments on your, um, on the level of your floor slab because it is uh, something that is very important when it comes to doing interior designs and drawing a gypsum ceiling it's a skill that you need to know that word add adjustment seems to be messing up with my tongue it wants to reveal location yangu manze like in insa so we click on it then we press ctrl t and we want it to be we're we are going to place it somewhere above just a little above the flow slab above the lintel so if you remember we had said that our lintel is so this one you can even have 150 or 125 mm so we were we had said that our lintel is somewhere around it will begin from 2200 then the question is what is the thickness of your lintel you, i mean the um, depth you can be doing something to do with the 300 you can be you can either be doing 250 300 some people do 350 so it's just up to you so for me i'll say let me let my slab be at 2650 so if you take 2650 and you minus 150 what do you get you get some something like 2500 so it means my lintel is about 250 mm which is which at this moment doesn't matter but if i go to let me show you what i'm talking about if I go to sections, can I draw a section? Let me just draw a section. You don't have to draw this. I, I want to show you something. You don't have to do it. So if I open this section, open section in your tab, we see where our slab begins at. Now, if I go to dimensioning and I begin from level zero to where my slab begins at you can see that it is 2500 so it means uh, from this point to this we, we are having 20 2200 so from 2200 then we are going to have 250 for the ring beam then once you have 250 i mean is it 250 is it 250 it's not 250 man i'm fucking up it's 300 so once you have 200 it means our ring beam will be 300 so when you have 300 then you get to 2500 where our flow slab begins so sometimes it is better to draw it with that accuracy than when you generate these settings and you take them for construction it becomes easier like following up it becomes easier and people won't have to assume 
their own dimensions so let me delete this because we don't need it at this point delete v point delete anyway okay so another thing that i want us to do now is we can go and change the uh, textures for this club but we'll do that later let's do the design for here and here as well so for that for that i'm going to draw a wall so the way we can be able to build this type of design is either we can either use a wall or we can either use um mortar sometimes you just do mortar molding more like a molding but there is this one that you are building and you are using um, bricks masonry i mean you are using the masonry so when you're doing it in akikad you use the wall tool and i want to change the face to be outside and from here to here i'm going 300 why 300 so that you can when, when if you're building it with masonry and it is 300 you can have one block running all the way and another one will be halfway halfway i mean you you will have one block and a half one block and a half so at the end you will have better joints with this corner because the one the block which will be will begin from this point might end somewhere here then you add uh 200 one full block at the front then um, when you have one full block one full block which will be running from where 300 is it will end from i mean what am i trying to say but you get the point with uh, 300 you will have a full block with a half a full block with a half so that way it makes better joints than if you are just having one shorter if you are just having one block from here that ends somewhere here so i don't know what i'm trying to say but yeah so this is 300 i'm not good at explaining stuff Fuck. so we are going back to the wall tool and we want to draw it using the this method geometry method this one the second one because you can be able to continue once you draw to a particular node like um doing 300 then enter and I can do I can do 500 500 500 500 then I can close it okay so that we then uh, we have to click it and end suspension of groups control T we want it to be just to where our lintel was so we're going to minus 600 800 so that we get it to 2200 i just want it to be up to 2200 and not go all the way which is a uh, so we want it to be somewhere on top of this huh? and so on top of this molding so i'm going to do 850 minus 750 I can we do 700 a little bit so minus 27.25 yeah that's better then let's create a new texture for it again so creation of textures sometimes wastes a lot of time for my tutorials but if you want like I said you can just use a current texture that is within Akikad. For me, I do this so that I can have easiness whenever I go to render my designs with Twin Mothone. So I'm going to choose this one, Itoki. So actually, this tutorial will have taken shorter. I'm just having fun, so taking longer. Like I said, we don't get anything from this, so instead of doing it in a hurry. It's also better to do it and get and enjoy doing it so i'm going to make this 750 so that it goes all the way downwards nah fuck me i'm supposed to say minus 750 ah yeah that's okay but there i did not need to change the texture for this ah, fuck. 
But we've already done so we will do more changes in between them. Then I just make a copy of this control shift plus D. We place it there. Then we want our window to be in such a way that whenever you have a look at it, you don't see this texture of the brick at the end. So we're just going, going to at, at do some adjustments on the thickness of the window. Let's do 1200. 1250 1250 up on yes that way that way that way i'm not evil i'm not evil i'm not evil then i make a copy of this control shift plus d control shift plus d manzi press me then i do the same control shift plus d or you can mirror if you want if you mirror you won't have issues to do with uh, what I'm having here so if you want to do away with it you can suspend groups and you click on it you trim it trim it trim it you can do the same for this other one and to that end we're done with this part so when we come back the next time we're going to do parapet walls now but we have more design here we have a different kind of design here but when we come back we're going to do more more so see you in the next one but before we go let's do some little little adjustment on these empty doors so here we had empty doors and we want to do some adjustments so that they go all the way to the flow we want them to begin from zero and we want them to be height of 2200 then we hit ok now we are good to go so see you in the next one the next one we are going to do parapet walls now uh, let me show you from this sample design so next one is we are coming to do this design here and parapet parapet walls here then once we do parapet walls we will go to the to design now i'll show you how we can be able to design this concrete fascia I mean the concrete gutter. Uh -huh. Then once we do, we shall be done. Then maybe we go to to draw the roof. Once we draw the roof, we go to visualization and we see how our design looks like. So I think I look. I'm remaining with with um. Oh, then once we done, we are done with visualization. We come to documentation documentation yeah we were supposed to do documentation as well so i think i'm remaining with three or four or five more parts for the same maybe three but in the meantime see in the next one my neighbor has just played some music uh, and she likes loud music so let me end this one before it messes everything up see in the next one